Yes guys, question number 27. Small and little two companies are in the fields of specialty chemicals. They decided to go on with a public offer on completion of amalgamation of their business. As per the agreed terms, initially a new company, Big Limited, will be incorporated on 1st Jan 2012 with an authorized capital of 2 crores, 20 lakh shares of 10 rupees each. Holding company will acquire the entire shareholding of small and little. And in turn, they will issue shares to outside holders. Okay, Very clearly is specifying outside holders because in the statement which is given below, he will give you some intercompany holdings as well. Be careful with that. It is also agreed that the consideration would be a multiple of average PE between a period of 1st Jan to 31st March times the rectified profit of each company subjected to necessary adjustments after compliance with share issue. So come down. The following information is given regarding small and little. Ordinary shares are 40 lakhs and 20 lakhs. That is in numbers. Preference shares, 10% preference shares of 100 rupees each and 10% preference shares of 10 rupees each. Be careful, okay? 5% debentures are 4 lakhs and 4 lakhs each. Investments, 4 lakh shares held by, held by little in small and 2 lakh shares held by small and little. Profits before interest and tax is given. I need profits available to equity shareholders and I have to multiply it with the average P. Average P given. So from this average profits, deduct interest, you get PBT. Deduct tax, you get PAT. Deduct preference dividend, you get profits available to equity shareholders. Multiply with the PE ratio. Only to outside shareholders, we have to calculate what is the purchase consideration. That means we'll reduce the intercompany holdings. Automatically, we'll get PC to outside shareholders. Following information is furnished to you in respect of additional adjustments to profits. Guys, adjustments to profits are there. So, not so simple. Profits of the respective companies will be adjusted for half the value of contingent liability. So, whatever contingent liability is there, deduct half of that from the profits. Now, we will find out what is the contingent liability figure not yet given there. Debtors of small limited includes a recoverable amount of 2 lakhs against which 1 lakh is recovered but kept in advance. So that 1 lakh you can reduce. 1 lakh is the bad debt we have to reduce from the profits. Little has omitted to provide a forex liability of $10,000 on a loan availed during the financial year 2007-8 for a purchase of machinery. Machinery was acquired on 1 1st Jan 2008 and put to use in the financial year 2008-9. Additional liability aroused due to change in the exchange rate and it is arrived in conformity with AS11 having an exchange rate of 50 rupees per dollar. So additional liability is 10,000. 10,000 into 50, 5 lakhs. Everything is in lakhs, so take it as 5. Small, limit, small Limited has omitted an invoice of a sale which has taken place on 31st March 2011 for a goods costing 2,50,000 at a markup of 15%. Markup is on cost. So 15% on 2,50,000, 37,500 profit. Goods are considered as a part of closing inventory. So increase the profit with 37,500. That is sufficient because closing stock already included with 2,50,000. So we have to reduce the closing stock by 2,50,000 and increase the sales by 2,87,500. 2,50 plus 15%. So instead increase the profit by 37,500. That is sufficient. Closing stock of 45 lakhs and little limited stands undervalued by 10%. Stands undervalued means it is already undervalued. So that 45 lakhs is 90%. So 10% you have to increase the closing stock. Increase closing stock, increase profit. 5 lakhs. Adjustment is 5 lakhs because it will be 10 by 90. 10 by 90 into 45 is 5. Contingent liabilities are given to you. The adjustment is in point number 1. Contingent liabilities of small and little are 5 and 10. Profits of each company should be adjusted with half the value of the contingent liabilities given in point number 1. So we have to reduce it by 2.5 and 5 from the profits. Terms of share issue are given to you. Shares of big will be issued at a premium of 13 rupees per share for all the external shareholders of small and share at a premium of 15 rupees per share in big limited to all the external shareholders of little. So whatever PCs you calculate, that will be total PC. But you need to find out outside shareholders. How do you get outside shareholders? Here it is there. No, there are investments which are held. Investments which are held, which are given in the table, there are some cross holdings given. Reduce the cross holding. Automatically balance consideration is payable to outside shareholders. That is issuing big limited at a premium of 13 rupees. Each share is 10. Premium of 13 means 23 issue price. 
for small and 15 premium that is 25 rupees is the issue price per little. No shares in big limited will be issued in lieu of investments. So to take over this investments cross holdings, he is not issuing any shares. Instead, the shares so held will be transferred to big limited at the close of the financial year at par consideration payable on date of transfer. That is cash. So they are paying cash for the intercompanies. <coughs> no shares being issued. Issue, they are taking over at par guys. So par value 40, 4 lakh shares and 2 lakh shares is 40 lakhs and 20 lakhs. Because each share is 10 rupees. Big limited will in addition issue shares to outside holders of small and little. A preferential allotment of 2 lakh shares at a premium of 28. Premium of 28 issue price is 38. 2 lakh shares into 38 they will receive a cash of 76. The shares will not be eligible for any dividend declared and paid till date. Big Limited will go in with 18% unsecured bank overdraft to meet incorporation expenses of 16 lakhs and management expenses of 14 lakhs up to 31st March 2012. Overdraft is expected to be availed on 1st Feb and will be closed on 31st March out of the proceeds from preferential issue which is given in point number 3. So in that point number 3, those 2 lakh shares issued at 38 rupees, 28 rupees premium, 76 lakhs, that amount will be utilized to write off this bank overdraft. How much overdraft did he avail? 16 lakhs for incorporation expenses, 14 lakhs for management expenses, total 30. 30 lakhs I have to repay along with interest because first line, they will go in with 18% bank overdraft, 18% per annum it is. When is he availing? He is availing this bank overdraft on 1st Feb. Closing it on 31st March. 1st Feb to 31st March basically 2 months. 2 months calculation of 30 lakhs into 18%. 18% per annum is 1.5% per month. For 2 months it is 3%. So 3% on the whatever is availed 30 lakhs. 3% on 30 lakhs is 0.9. It is agreed that the interim dividend will be paid on 31st March for the period from Jan to March. By big limited at 2%, small limited at 3%, little limited at 2.5%. Ignoring DDT, income tax rate is considered to be 25%. You are required to calculate the number of shares to be issued to the shareholders of each company and also prepare a projected P&L and the balance sheet as on 31st March 2012. There is no amalgamation. No amalgamation by any chance. Clear indicator is that point number 5. Read that point number 5. If they get amalgamated, small and little should not be there. But what is he saying? There is an interim dividend which they are fine. Interim dividend which is declared at 2%, 3% and 2.5%. All the three companies are issuing dividend. That means all the three companies are still existing there. So what is happening is Big Limited is formed to take over the shares of small and little and they will hold it. So it is an investment company holding investments in the <coughs> holding 100% shares of small and little. That's it. So in a simple sense the balance sheet becomes very small. Because the balance sheet will not get any fixed assets. First of all the balance sheet itself is not given. So what we have to concentrate now is first to calculate PC. To calculate PC I need profits available to equity shareholders multiplied by P ratio. But profits available to equity shareholders is not given. There is only PBIT given. That PBIT should be used. There are adjustments given from point number 1 to 6. Once you take that point number 1 to 6 adjustments we will get adjusted PBIT or corrected PBIT. Corrected PBIT minus debenture interest will give you PBT. Minus tax rate given there down below in point number 6, 25% tax, get PAT. Deduct the amount of preference dividend, you get PAES, profits available to equity shareholders. Multiply with the P ratio, we are there with the answer of purchase consideration. But we need PC to outside shareholders, be very very specific about that. We need PC to outside shareholders. So let's start. Come on guys, start with corrected PBIT. And go for the calculations. Put down heading PC to outside shareholders. Heading as PC to outside shareholders and continue solving. PC to outside shareholders. This P method guys. P into PAS will give you the PC. Have two companies, small and little, maintain two columns there. Write everything in lakhs. Everything is given in lakhs. Don't try to write the full figures. Come on, go on. Let's 
let me start with the average PBIT given. PBIT. PBIT given as 50 and 25. First give adjustment and then tax adjustments will come in picture. Come on. First adjustment. Less. Half of contingent liabilities. Clearly given in the question. Reduce half of contingent liabilities. La contingent liabilities, the amounts are given in point number 6. Point number 6, contingent liabilities if small are 5 and little is 10. Half of that, 2.5 and 5. Next one. Less bad debts. Irrecoverable debtors are 2 lakhs. 1 lakh recovered is kept in advance. So bad debt is 1 lakh. For whom? Small. So small limited p &L, 1 lakh less. Next. Less forex liability. Now you have to calculate man. Calculate forex liability. 10,000 dollars into 50 rupees. I'll write in lakhs for little limited it is 5 5 or 0.5 5. 5 next add profit on omitted sales Omitted sale profit is 15% markup on 2,50,000. Again, write in lakhs only. Who omitted? Small. Small omitted. Small's profit should increase by 0 0.375. 37,500 it is. Last one, add... Upward revaluation of stock. Stock starts undervalued by 10%. So 90% is 45. 100% is 50. So increases 5. Closing stock increases. Profit also increases. I think that's it. For the corrected profits. Guys, we are only doing PBIT we started with. So we have to also deduct less interest debenture interest turn to the table and fill up debenture interest 4 lakh debentures of 10 rupees each 5% debenture interest so 5% of 40 lakhs and 40 lakhs 2 lakhs and 2 lakhs is debenture interest That is it. This will give you PBT, corrected PBT, before tax. Less tax at the rate of 25%. This will give me PAT, deduct preference dividend. Then we will arrive at PAES multiply by P ratio will get total PC. I don't want total PC, I want PC to outside shareholders be specific, okay? Be very specific with the question. It is PC to outside shareholders is what I want. Continue. Get PBD first. 50 minus
This is 18, I guess. Tax at 25 percent. 11.21375. This is 4.5. Tax should be deducted. Thirty-three point six five six two five. This is thirteen point five. Preference dividend. Careful, careful. One is hundred rupee dividend, hundred rupee preference share. Other one is ten rupee preference share. Numbers are same, but the face values are different. So the answers will also be different. For small, hundred rupee share, ten percent dividend, ten rupees dividend. Per share, 2 lakh shares, 20 lakhs preference dividend. For little, 10% dividend for 10 rupee share, 1 rupee dividend per share, 2 lakh shares, 2 lakhs preference dividend. This is 13.65625, 11.5. With P ratios of 10 and 8. 136.5625 multiply by 8 That is total PC. I don't want total PC. My intention is to calculate PC to outside shareholders. I want only PC to outside shareholders. From this total PC, reduce your intercompany holdings. You will get back to your PC to outside shareholders. Less... Intercompany holdings, first one small in little and next one little in small, get the percentages, small in little 2 lakh shares out of 20 lakh shares 10%, little in small 4 lakh shares out of total shares of 40 lakhs again 10%, or reduce 10 10% from each. Small and little, reduce it from little, 9.2 minus, sorry, 92 minus 9.2. Little in small, small is 136.5625, 10% is 13.65625. PC2. Outside shareholders, one thirty six point five six two five minus thirteen point five six two five, thirteen point six five six two five. This will give me one twenty two point something. This is eighty two point eight. Nine zero six two five. How is settling that PC? Read the question. You will identify settlement of PC. Settlement of PC given in the point number one after the corrected profits, correction to profits. Terms of share issue are as under. 
shares of big will be issued at a premium of 13 rupees per share to all the shareholders of small and a premium of 15 rupees per share to all the shareholders of big so all the shareholders of little so issue price per share in big 13 rupees premium 23 15 rupees premium 25 number of shares to be issued by big Yes guys, the terms of issue, share issue in point number 2. There is a preferential allotment at, sorry, there are no shares to be issued for intercompany holdings. They will be transferred to Big Limited at par value consideration payable on transfer. Come to the table, intercompany holdings are 4 lakhs and 2 lakhs. So 4 lakh shares are held by little and small. So little limited will get 4 lakh shares into 10 rupees because they are transferring at par, 40 lakhs. Small limited will get 2 lakh shares into 10 rupees, 20 lakhs. And they will transfer these shares also to big limited. So already 90% consideration you know. 90% consideration is 122.90625 and 82.8. In addition, the 10% will get 40 and 20. There is a preferential allotment of 2 lakh shares into, 30, into 38 rupees because 28 rupees premium. Point number 4, bank OD, 18% bank OD, incurring in corporation cost of 16 and management expenses of 14. Bank OD will be closed on 31st March out of the proceeds from preferential allotment. They have availed it on 1st Feb. So February and March I have to pay interest on bank OD as well. It is agreed that the interim dividends will be 2%, 3% and 2.5% for big, small and little, ignoring dividend distribution tax. Guys, dividend I will not consider a taxation at all because it's a tax profits. Tax profits which are distributed as dividend, I don't have to calculate any tax impact on it. So, now he's asking you what is a PNL. Read the question. You are required to identify what is the number of shares to be issued to the shareholders of each company. We have already identified that. And prepare the projected PNL 
for a period from 1st Jan to 31st March. P and L are big. From 1-1 to 31-3-2012. Big Limited does not have any asset to earn profit. All they have is investment. So what is the profit they earn? Dividend. Incomes. That is nothing but dividend receipt. They receive dividend from both small and little. They acquired 90 plus 10 percent as intercompany holdings, total 100 percent. Whatever is the dividend declared by small and little, they get it. So dividend received is small is paying a dividend of 3 percent and little at 2.5 percent. So 3 percent and 2.5 and percent. Total 100 percent. Small limited face value of share is 10 and 10. Number of shares are 40 lakhs and 20 lakhs. This will give you dividend receipt. They are not taxed. I will not apply tax on this. I think the first case should be 12. Two point five into 200 is 5. 12 and 5 are dividends. Expenses. Don't consider preliminary expenses, guys. Just ignore that preliminary expenses part. The other expenses check management expenses are 14. Management expenses are 14. Point number 4. What else? Don't forget bank code interest. Interest on bank code, eighteen percent interest on thirty lakhs bank code. How thirty lakhs? Sixteen lakhs for incorporation cost, fourteen lakhs for management expenses. Total bank code available is thirty two by twelve, two months. This is 0 0.9 dividend. Dividend paid. They are paying dividend at two percent. On how many shares? Shares issued as PC. This total is 8.65575. Each share has a face value of 10. Guys, that preferential allotment 2 lakh shares are also there, but I won't add that because they do not rank for dividend very clearly. He is given it in point number 3. Last line of point number 3 these shares are not eligible for any dividend declared and paid till date. So I am not adding that too. But otherwise if that statement is not given, my total shares will be 10.65575. So 2% of the dividend paid is... one point seven three one one five. That's it. Identify PNL. Zero point three six. 
885 to prepare the balance sheet we don't know one more information that is cash we can take that as balancing figure but uh, let's try to identify cash balance as well okay, because normally when we see balance sheet balance sheet means balance sheet should tally automatically so let's not take it as a balancing figure let's say cash take up cash cash and bank receipts issue of shares are there to that vcf we have issued some shares 2 lakh shares issued at a premium of point number 3 28 that means issue price is 38 76 dividend received this is also a receipt 17 12 plus 5 payments bank OD repaid how much was bank OD? 30 lakhs. Repaid along with an interest of 0 0.9. So this is 30.9. Don't again write preliminary expenses and management expenses. Unnecessary. Because this 30 includes those expenses. So 30.9 is the bank OD repaid. What else did we pay? We also paid dividend. One point seven three one one five. One last payment to be taken up is for the intercompany holdings. Intercompany holdings are transferred on the balance sheet date. Consideration payable on the date of transfer. They're paid at par. How many shares? 4 lakh shares in small 40 lakhs, 2 lakh shares in little 20 lakhs, 40 plus 20 what they totally pay is 60. Sufficient enough guys, go on for the balance sheet, get the balance sheet, big limited balance sheet is a small one, you don't have too many figures in that.
You guys, let's go on to the balance sheet. Balance sheet of big. As on 31st March 2012. Equity and liabilities. Shareholders funds, share capital, how much? What you issued as PC, this is 8.65575 plus 2 lakhs issued as preferential allotment. This total will be 10.65575. 10 One second guys, the 2 lakh shares, now that will become 20. So this should become, total number of shares are 810.65575 into 10. One or 6.5575. Securities premium, reserves and surplus. Too many calculations for securities premium guys. First, the 8.65575, there is some premium additional. So, you take that individually because the premiums are different. 5.34375, premium is 13 rupees on this. Plus, 3.312, premium is 15 rupees on this. Plus, 2 lakh shares, what are issued at a premium of 28 don't forget, minus incorporation cost 16. Incorporation cost is nothing but preliminary expenses which can be written off from securities premium. That will be the net securities premium. Then the PNL figure, that will be the end of the liability side. My PNL, I already have the answer. 0 0.36885. And that's it for the balance sheet. Assets, non-current assets, you only as investment, that's it. Investments in small and investment in little. Other than that, current asset cash. Cash figure I know we already calculated 0 0.36885. Investments in small outside shareholders got how much? 122.90625. Plus extra he paid for intercompany holdings in small how small how many shares were held by little? Sorry, yeah. For 4 lakh shares were held by little, so plus 40. Each share of 10 rupees issued at par, paid at par that is, next one PC, 82.82 outside shareholders, plus he paid to small 20, 2 lakh shares and to 10 rupees each. There is 162.90625, there is 102.8.
बैलेंस शीट टोटल इज टू टू सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव वन 